Hi, this is Hone Miyashita from Meiji University. In this presentation, I propose a test display and calibrate it in conjunction with the test sensor. Herringer discovered that combining saline water with cathode stimulation inhibits the perception of saltiness. However, the fundamental relation is not between the sense of taste and the electrical stimulation of the tongue. Rather, the inhibition of taste is caused by a change in the ion concentration of the aqueous solution. When the cathode is inserted into the aqueous solution and the anode is placed in the mouth, a decreased concentration of cations around the tongue is perceived. Aoyama confirmed through experiments with five types of electrolyte solutions that this phenomenon inhibits all five basic tastes, and the stronger the current, the greater the effect on the sense of taste. I solidified five types of aqueous electrolyte solutions into gels in separate straws. Upon application of electricity, ion migration was observed similar to that in the aqueous solutions and the taste was inhibited in proportion to the intensity of the current. During the experiment with the prototype, any increase in the applied current was perceived by the tongue as a type of stimulation, and this was an issue. In my approach, a stronger current is used to express a weaker taste, so it can lead to perceptual confusion. Therefore, I decided to add a tasteless gel. The sum of the currents flowing in the six gels is kept constant, ensuring a uniform amount of stimulation of the tongue so that the subject can concentrate more on the changes in the five basic tastes. To control the amount of current to each gel, I adjusted the variable resistance using moving faders on a digital mixer. The lipid membrane taste sensor developed by Toko uses multiple lipid polymer membranes that mimic the human tongue. The sensor exhibits global selectivity, an important feature of taste sensors, meaning that when two different substances taste the same to humans, the sensor produces the same response for each. I investigated the manner in which the five electrolytes were measured by the taste sensor. In the top section of the graph, the horizontal axis represents the actual concentration, and the vertical axis represents the saltiness intensity. The graph indicates that the numerical value decreases with a weakening taste, following a logarithmic relationship. The graph at the bottom depicts the experimental results published by Oyama. The horizontal axis of the graph represents the concentration, and the vertical axis represents the current intensity, and it can be linearly approximated. So the current intensity required to reproduce the saltiness on the taste display can be expressed in this equation. Consequently, for all the substances that can be measured with the taste sensor, the output corresponding to the measured value can be generated on the taste display. I developed video editing software that allows the user to edit the taste information along with the video and audio. As an example, I created a video that shows the brewing of black tea and the addition of lemon to it. Each step was measured by the taste sensor. Moreover, this software offers crossfade, fading, and fade out functions that change the taste gradually. Further, I developed prototypes of various taste effects. For example, I created a normalized effect, which ensures that the strongest taste component of the five basic tastes produce the maximum expressible value in the taste display. This effect helps compensate for the limited expressiveness of the taste display. I also created effects like the negative inversion of a taste. For example, negatively inverting the taste of lemon tea mixed with sugar, which is a mixture of bitterness, acidity, and sweetness, produced a taste similar to a soup, which is a mixture of saltiness and umami. And I created taste equalizer. It can be used to adjust the taste to individual preferences, such as to suppress acidity for those who are sensitive to it, or boost saltiness for those who enjoy a strong salty taste. Creating a tasting equivalent of eyeglasses or hearing aids may become a reality for helping people with diminished sensitivities or those who find it difficult to distinguish between tastes. That's it. I believe that the proposal in this presentation opens up a new research genre of this media. Thank you very much.